Assalamu alaikum, I am Naseem Rafiq from the channel of The Cool Principal. So my dear students, uh, we have started our eye procedure with eye swabbing, with the installation of eye drops and installation of eye ointment. So now we are going to learn to do the eye irrigation. So why we do eye irrigation? What is the purpose of eye irrigation? So eye irrigation we do if there is any chemical, anything it goes into your eyes and your eye become red and there is a chemical. So what we have to do, we have to immediately irrigate, irrigate and irrigate. So uh, let's look at the equipment and start the procedure. We need the eye drop, normal saline with the galliport, swabs, kidney tray as a receiver a cap, towel and tissue. We also need normal saline with giving set. Before starting the procedure, always remember there are the three or four things you must need to know. The first thing you must greet the client. Assalamu alaikum Mr. Ali. So I am going to irrigate your uh, right eye. So, are you with me? Are you going to give me permission? Thank you so much. So, now I got the permission from the client. Then always provide privacy to the client. Okay, hand hygiene and must wear the gloves for the purpose of sterilization and patient safety and then start your procedure. So, before I will again redo my sterilization of my hand, I will apply the cap to the patient. So the purpose of applying the cap, so the patient here will not be get wet and then at the side where you are going to do the irrigation, you must put your towel under the hat of the patient at the one side. Okay. Always remember for any eye procedure, you must till the patient had a bit. So now the position of my patient for eye irrigation is ready. So at this point I have to again do my hand hygiene and change my gloves. So after changing my gloves, so before starting the procedure as my patient preparation is ready, so what I will do, I will instill the anesthesia drops. So please avoid to touch the tip of the eye drop. Okay, so please Mr. Ali look upward, okay, then instill a eye drops in the middle side of the eye, okay. So what is the benefit of adding this anesthesia drops because we irrigate if there is the chemical and at, at this point the patient will not be able to open the eye. So once the anesthesia drop is will be there, the patient will be easily open the eye. So okay, we will start the procedure and we will keep the receiver at the side of the patient first, the, the side where we are going to do the eye irrigation. Okay, before starting the eye irrigation, you must keep in your mind the flow of your uh, normal saline, okay, should not be very flowy because uh, oh, and the patient must look upward because this flow can disturb the cornea as well. So we have to protect the cornea, we will request Mr. Ali please look upward, okay. So you have to give the instruction first. So when the patient will look upward, okay, then we will start our irrigation. So now the patient is looking upward, your hand will be up to the middle of the eyebrows and into the eye and the flow is very low. Then we have to clean the lower lid and we have to clean by holding the upper lid and the whole eye but at the same time the patient is looking upward. So we are not hitting the cornea. So we will clean until desired. So, okay, so eye irrigation is done, then I have to secure this. Once eye irrigation is done, then we have to clean the patient eye carefully until the neck of the patient. 
we have to take the receiver back. Okay, Mr. Ali, are you comfortable? Are you feeling good now? Thank you. And then you can remove the cap. You can remove the towel and make the client comfortable.